Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to share with you guys an altered box that I made. I'm so excited about this. I've never done this before. And I was really inspired by Mel's Craft Boutique's beautiful trimmings that she sent me uh, to be a guest design team member for her shop. And this altered box is going to Karen McClure, who graciously extended her deadline for her challenge. She had a two-part challenge one was to make ATCs for subbies of yours to just show appreciation and spread the YouTube crafty love. And the other was to do an altered box for her. And I don't know if any of you recall, but I had, I picked up this paper. It's a 12 by 12, sorry for the glare. Um, at Tuesday morning, I think I picked up like a little sheet of 12, P, um, 12 by 12 sheets for something like 60 cents or something like that. I ended up using three of them on this box um, and I will go through and describe what I did. But most of all, I wanted to share with you guys these beautiful trimmings that I think completed this the look of this box. Um, I started with a regular kind of hard, really thick chipboard box that was gifted to me, gosh, probably about a year ago for me to alter from Heather, whose ideas to come. So sweet of her. And I used for the kind of um, corners where there would be a lot of, you know, um, wear potentially, I used brown washi tape that I had gotten recently from Emily Cox. And on the edges where I wanted to kind of try to maintain the um, vintage look of this, I used some kind of washi tape. I think it's Tim Holtz tissue tape, I think it's called, that was gifted to me by Elaine Rico, who is Today Library. And everything else came from Mel's Craft Boutique. Um, I think the trimmings are just beautiful. I, um, like I said, I first put washi on the edges of the box. Then I used the paper to wrap the entire box inside and out, top side, inside, um, and the back. And then I just went to town with these trimmings. I think this pink, I think it's called Graceful Beaded Light Pink Flower Trim. It is so spectacular. Look at the sequins in that. Hopefully it'll focus. It is so gorgeous. Um, and then I used a cream colored flat back uh, resin rose flower for the center where I attached a little bit of, um, what is that called? You guys know, it's, um, you know, hook, hook and loop fasteners. I picked up a package, you know, at the dollar store. And then I use this beautiful um, heart embroidered trim in the mint color because I thought that would look so nicely work so nicely with the paper because there are little leaves and things like that here and I thought the mint would go so nicely with the pink soft pink background and then I use this beautiful I mean this is really what set me off on the on this road <laughs> um, it is an Fancy pastel flower applique, and I used one piece here and one piece here. I have a little bit left, um, but as you can see, it has, you know, uh, sequins, flower sequins. It's got little silver sequins, a little bead in the center. I mean, it, the details on this applique trim are just stunning, and the colors are so pretty and soft. I thought it just went so beautifully with this. Um, and what else? I think that, oh, inside. That's right. I used every last bit of this mint um, heart trim and the flower, the uh, light pink flower trim because they're just so gorgeous. I wanted everything to coordinate as much as possible inside and out. Oh, and I also used this really sweet, I used two of them, one here and here. Um, this, uh, I think it's called Dainty Ivory Satin Flowers. And they're so pretty together with other flowers in combination. Oh, and I use this, this beautiful big um, vintage white rose. And the leaves actually come white too, but I just took 
a little bit of this green, what is it? It's sh green shimmer recollection spray. I just sprayed the leaves. So there's a little shimmer to the leaves as well. And then I dabbed it off because I didn't want it pooling um, or too dark. I wanted it to be that nice light mint green color. And I think the box came out beautifully. Oh, the only other thing that I did kind of to make sure that the, um, you know, the paper that I used wouldn't, you know, be too kind of dull by comparison, I took my Wink of Stella, my clear, and put it on all of the flowers inside the box and out. And for the bird here, uh, since I told you I used three sheets of that paper, I had one left over, one of the birds. So I fussy cut that out and I popped it up on foam adhesive. I think you can see the dimension. I also did that with a couple of the flowers. Um, and then I used some glossy accents just to add a little extra shine to the little claws, the eyes, and the beak. And like I said, I'm really pleased with this first altered box of mine. Um, and I hope, Karen, that you like it. And please, if you guys get a chance and are looking for beautiful trims, check out Mel's Craft Boutique. I'll put a link in the description box below to her shop and also to my blog where you can, um, I'll put links in to each one of the products if you're interested in a particular one. So it'll take you directly into her shop, right into that product. Okay? I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.